Hi there. In today's video, we're going to be talking about looping pedals, which are a great way to create your own arrangements. First, I'm going to talk about the kind of gear you're going to need and the gear that I personally use um, for weddings and other live events. And then I'm going to share some great tips if you're just starting to play around with a looping pedal. So yeah, let's get into it. So the first kind of gear that you're going to need to have for looping is a pickup for the cello. Um, you can see that it goes underneath the bridge over there, and then on the other end, you can attach an instrument cable. And the second piece of equipment you're going to need is at least two instrument um, or quarter inch cables. And one of them is going to go from the cello into the looper, and the other cable is going to go from the looper into your, either your speaker or your audio interface. I use the Bose speaker, and it's, it's been really great for live um, indoor and outdoor gigs. Um, but you can also use like a bass amplifier or any other kind of equipment you might already have. And um, this is my RC30. I've been using it for about six years now. If you look over here um, where it says instrument in right, this is where I'm going to plug in my cello. And then if you see over here on the output where it says left power on, I'm going to plug in the speaker on this side. And that's going to turn on the looper to see all the lights are flashing now. So yeah, that's the basics of how to set up all the equipment. Now I'm going to show you um, what it looks like when you're actually trying to create a loop. So you can see that there's uh, two pedals on the looper. If I push the left pedal, the red button, the chord turns on. And that means that my loop is being recorded. Whatever I'm playing right now, it's going to play back for me when I push it again. So I push this left pedal again, and now, now that the green light turns on, um, I'm hearing back my first loop. And as long as the red light is still on, it's still recording. Um, so if I push this button again, now the red button turns off. Now we're no longer recording. If I push this uh, right uh, pedal over here, you see that the green light for play turns off. So now there's nothing. When you're first starting off, it's good to experiment with something very simple. When you start playing, make sure to also hit the pedal, and that way it's going to be recording. So then when you hit the pedal again, it'll play back your loop. Then you can play a new thing on top of that. So for example, you can do something like this. Thanks so much. Uh, see you in the next video.